Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a fashion, sewing, and lifestyle blog. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here. So in today's video, we're going to be kicking off a new series. The series is called Sewing with Rosie. So the very first thing that we're going to be sewing in the Sewing with Rosie series is going to be Vogue 9264. You guys know I love these patterns. They're super fashionable, super on trend, and just really fun to sew. The fabric that I'm going to be using in today's video is a stretch velvet in this gorgeous royal blue color. It's actually a crushed velvet. So we're going to be working on View A of Very Easy Vogue 9264. So go ahead and grab your pattern and your fabric and we can go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on sewing Vogue 9264. The very first step that we're going to do is just read through each and every step in the pattern instructions. This is just going to give us a good idea of all the things we're going to need to do during this sew along video. So the next step that we need to do is actually cut out our pattern pieces. So just go ahead and grab some paper scissors and then go ahead and cut out your size. You're going to need pattern piece number one, which is your side front, and you're going to cut two of these. You're also going to need pattern piece number two, which is your front, and this is cut on the fold. Next, you're going to need pattern piece number three, which is your side back. This is going to be cut out two times. Next, you're going to need pattern piece number four, which is your back. This is cut on the fold. Next, you're going to need pattern piece number five, which is your collar. This is cut on the fold as well. Next, you're going to need pattern piece number six, which is your sleeve. Make sure you transfer all of your markings and your notches to your fabric as well. Go ahead and grab your front and your side front pieces, and then we're going to place them with right sides facing, and we're going to pin along the princess seam. So once you have them right sides together, go ahead and pin first at the notches, and then pin at the top and the bottom and all the way in between. Repeat that step to the other side front princess seam. Once you've completed all of the pinning, we're going to move on to pattern piece number three and pattern piece number four. So pattern piece number four is your back, which was cut on the fold, and pattern piece number three are your side back pieces. So go ahead and repeat the same process as we did to the front and to the side front. Now that you have your front and back princess seams pinned together, we're going to go ahead and move on to pattern piece number five, which is your collar. This is just going to be pinned with right sides facing along the short edge. Take your fabric to your sewing machine and we're going to sew along all of the pinned edges with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, making sure to remove your pins as you go. Also, make sure you backstitch at the beginning of your seams and at the end of your seams. We're using a stretch fabric, so you want to make sure you're using a stretch stitch on your machine. Or you can use a narrow zigzag stitch. Once you finish sewing all of your seams, go ahead and neaten the seam allowance with a serger or your desired method. A very important step in the sewing process is ironing your fabric. I like to use this pressing ham whenever I am pressing around curved areas of the body. This tool really comes in handy and it's a very important step in your sewing process. I'll have one linked in the description bar below. Once you finish pressing all of your princess seams to the side seam, we're going to go ahead and grab our collar piece. You want to fold the collar with wrong sides together and we're just going to press this flat to your ironing table. This is just going to help keep everything in place whenever we pin this to our neckline. Now we need to place our front to our back with right sides together and we're going to pin along both side seams. So go ahead and pin at the top and then pin at the bottom and then pin all the way throughout. We also need to pin both of our shoulders with right sides together.
go ahead and just repeat the pinning to the other side seam as well. Now that we've pinned both side seams and shoulders, you can go ahead and take your fabric to your sewing machine and you're going to sew again with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Making sure to remove those pins as you go and also backstitch at the beginning of your seam and at the end of your seam as well. This is just going to help secure your seams. Once you've sewn both side seams and both shoulder seams together, we can go ahead and take our garment and turn it with right sides facing out. Then you want to grab your collar piece and we're going to pin this to the neckline. Pin the seam of the collar to the center back of the garment neckline and then you want to just go ahead and match the notches and pin throughout the collar and throughout the neckline. Again with right sides facing. Once you have your collar pinned to your neckline evenly throughout, go ahead and take your fabric to your sewing machine. I like to remove the front compartment on my sewing machine. It makes it a lot easier to slip in your collar under your sewing machine. Go ahead and sew throughout the collar and the neckline with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Again, making sure to remove those pins as you go. So we have our collar attached and it's starting to look more and more like a finished dress. The very last step that we need to do is to work on our sleeve. As you can see, we have several markings on our sleeve. One of those is a pleat. It looks kind of difficult as you're looking at the pattern, but it's really simple to do. So you want to work on the right side of your fabric, and then you're just going to bring those two lines together to meet in the center. So I'm going to grab one line, and I'm going to bring that towards the center. And then I'm just going to pin that in place. I'm going to repeat that same step to the other side as well. As you can see, this is going to create a really cute Complete. Next, we're going to go ahead and fold our sleeve onto itself with right sides facing and we're going to pin along the underarm seam. Go ahead and repeat those two steps to the remaining sleeve as well. So go ahead and just bring those pleats together meeting at the center and pin those in place. Then you want to go ahead and fold your sleeve with right sides facing and pin along the underarm seam. Take your sleeves to your sewing machine and we're going to first baste along the pleat. So a basting stitch is just the longest stitch on your machine. So with 5 8 7 inch seam allowance along your pinned edge, go ahead and repeat those two steps to your remaining sleeve piece. Alright you guys, so now we need to make a few basting stitches across the upper portion of our sleeve. This is going to help us create a few gathers. So you should have made a few markings across your sleeve. We're going to sew a few basting stitches between these two markings. Once you've sewn your basting stitches, you're going to slightly tug on the bottom basting stitch to slightly gather your fabric, just like you see me doing here. Go ahead and repeat that step to your remaining markings on your sleeve. You should have two separate markings on each of your sleeve pieces. Go ahead and grab your sleeve with right sides facing out and you're going to slip that into your garment with the wrong sides facing out. So the right side of the sleeve should be matching the right side of the dress. You're going to pin first at the underarm seam and then you're going to match your notches and you're going to pin there. So the front notch on your sleeve should match the front notch on your dress. Then you just want to go ahead and continue pinning all throughout your sleeve armhole. Again, adjusting those gathers as you need to making sure everything is nice and even. Once you have both sleeves attached evenly to your garment, you can go ahead and take that to your sewing machine and we're gonna sew along the pinned edge, starting at the underarm seam with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Just making sure that your gathers are nice and flat and your fabric is nice and even along the raw edge. Go ahead and neaten the seam with the serger or your desired method. The very last step is just to press your hems to the wrong side and you're going to sew along the raw edge. Once you finish with that, you are all done with your new dress. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys share your makes on social media with the hashtag sewingwithrosie. 
Alright you guys, you're all done sewing Vogue 9264. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome sew along videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!